Hello, I'm JP Sears. Today, let's explore together the psychology of the selfie. I personally believe there are deep, meaningful discoveries that you and I can encounter when we understand why we take selfies all the time. In the shallows at the surface, there's a message that says, well, the world just needs more random pictures of me and other people need to understand what I'm doing. That's why I like to call the manic moment selfie. It's when nothing exciting is going on, but I don't want you to know that. Yet, diving deeper, what do we discover? For starters, we can consider the selfie cycle. It starts with step one, where we, we feel this need, oh, I need to take a picture of myself and post it. So we do that. Step two is, once we've posted it, we're, we're checking, well, how, who's liking this? Or we're just simply checking in in our imagination and imagining, well, who's liking this? Who's seeing me? And then this step two of the selfie cycle, this is giving us a, a level of satiety, a level of fulfillment. Mmm, I'm feeling noticed. It's what I like to call a 2010 throwback selfie strategy. When I need to show you more of me than what the limitations of my selfie extension apparatus can deliver through its limited reach, aka my arm, I'm going to the mirror. The third step is we encounter an intrinsic sense of emptiness. Whether it's hundreds of people are liking our image, or nobody's liking our image, eventually it won't feel like enough. So we'll have this sense of emptiness come up and we don't like that. Let me just post that real quick. OMG, I love my new bracelet, LOL. That's what I like to call the covert exposure selfie. That's where I deliberately show you the body part of mine where I hide all my insecurities under. However, I'm using a decoy. This case, the bracelet. I know that you know that I know that you know that we both know it's all about the bicep shot. You go along and pretend it is in fact about the bracelet, the decoy. Thank you very much for that. Which takes us right back to Step one of the cycle, we repeat. Uh, now I've got to create another picture. I need external attention on me in order to fill up a sense of emptiness. And as you and I know, no matter how many thousands of selfies we put out there, we can't get enough external acknowledgement to truly fill the hole of emptiness that we feel inside. What we discover behind perhaps all or the majority of selfie taking is the most fundamental human need screaming, which is the need for attention. Please pay attention to me. I need your attention. Why attention? Well, when you pay attention to me, I feel acknowledged. When I feel acknowledged by you, uh, I feel as though I'm worth noticing. When I feel as though I'm worth noticing, I feel like I'm worth something. <clears throat> That's why I like to call that perpetual party selfie. It's where every selfie that I post, it's of me in party mode, which means one of two things. Either I spend 100% of my life in party mode or the 0.0001% of my life that is captured by selfies is specifically engineered to make you think I'm always in party mode. The way the child mind seeks attention is of course via external people. The child's mind is very codependent. I need someone else to give me attention. And thus we find quite often the child mind inside of the adult taking selfies is at work. The adult mind, how it seeks attention in a functional way, isn't through codependence, it's through interdependence. 
the attention I need, the acknowledgement I need, and therefore the sense of I matter, I'm worth noticing. All of that that I need comes from within, interdependent rather than codependent. My relentless need uh, to post selfies. Hmm, what if that is simply a compensation for how my adult mind hasn't learned how to pay attention to me yet. This is what I like to call the look away selfie. It's good for giving you the impression that I'm too good for this. I don't have time for this. It also gives you the impression that my picture is being taken against my own will, even though I'm the one taking the picture. There's also an intimidating indifference with the look away which actually makes my selfie hand pretty fearful. So for me, the message that you are invited to take home about all this is pay attention to yourself, acknowledge yourself, share with yourself why you matter. There's also a call to be present with yourself in your life. When we are not present in this moment with ourself, of course we feel empty inside because we are empty inside. Our presence is nowhere to be found. Would you be willing to be as present with yourself as you can? Acknowledge yourself. Nurture yourself. Know that you matter. I would invite you to take even more selfies. However, the real message here is fill yourself up from the inside first. That way, as you're sharing yourself with the world, you are actually truly sharing yourself because there you are filled up within yourself and therefore able to share the solid whole version of yourself rather than using the facade of sharing yourself with the world as a silent begging for the world's attention to compensate for how you don't. Pay attention and share presence with yourself. I appreciate you watching this video. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it with your friends.